I hope everybody had a good New Year's. As you can see, I received the Poco M3 in the mail over the weekend. And today I'm going to show you how to start the process of unlocking the bootloader on this device. And I say start the process because Xiaomi's bootloader unlock mechanics actually take two weeks, 15 days from start to finish. You have to initiate the bootloader unlock and then wait the 15 day period so that Xiaomi is one, it's one of the security measures Xiaomi uses in order to prevent resellers from taking their device, installing new software on them, and then selling them for a higher price, at least a lot faster than normal. So to begin the Poco M3 bootloader unlock process, we need to dive into the settings application because we need to sign in to our Xiaomi Mi account. Now, if you haven't already created a Xiaomi Mi account, you need to do this. And I'll be linking to this as well as other requirements like where to download the Mi Unlock tool in the video description. But we first need to go into the settings after we have a Xiaomi Mi account created. And then you just want to scroll down a bit till you get to the Mi account option. Tap it and then you need to log in to your Mi account. And you're likely going to see this Xiaomi account permission request. From my experience, at least how it has been, I haven't tested to find out if you can do it now by or without granting these permissions. But I've been doing this for a few years and when I started doing this, having the find device option was required as is inserting your SIM card whenever you request the bootloader unlock process. Xiaomi, again, Xiaomi's security measures is the 15 day wait period, T tying the uh, bootloader unlock to your Xiaomi Mi account, as well as your SIM card. And you can take this SIM card out and put it back into your other phone if you use a different daily driver if you want. I just know some people don't use a SIM card for these devices and this official bootloader unlock process can be troublesome in that way. So we're just going to grant access. We're going to grant both sync and find device permission access from here. Now that you're logged into your Xiaomi Mi account, we then need to enable developer mode which we can do by going into the about phone section and then tapping on this me version option right here seven to ten times when you do that you'll see an, a box pop up here a toast message pop up here telling you that after ten to seven times that it has been enabled once developer mode has been enabled you can see I've already enabled it we can go back into the main page of the settings application look for the additional settings menu and then scroll down to the bottom of that next menu you should see developer options right there because we need to go in here and we need to enable the OEM unlocking toggle you should see that toward the top if you need to verify your pin pattern or password do so and then tap the blue enable button that pops up. This is required. If we try to unlock the bootloader without enabling the OEM unlock option, then it is going to fail. So now if you haven't done so already, we're going to insert the SIM card into the phone. And we can actually go ahead and disable Wi-Fi and make sure mobile data is enabled in preparation for the next step. After you enter a SIM card, you're likely going to see some notifications about Xiaomi's SIM activation, where it is going to send an SMS message, and it'll tell you that in the status 
as well as it waiting for that SMS message for verification. Once all that goes through, we're going to be left with that notification. And again, we can go ahead and disable Wi-Fi. Make sure mobile data is enabled. And if you need to set up any APN settings so that you can have mobile data access, do so. From here, we can go back into the settings into additional settings and developer options, going back into the developer mode menu. From this menu, you should see a me unlock status option. Again, make sure OEM unlocking is enabled. We can go in here to the me unlock status. We'll get a prompt at a pop-up asking for permission Go ahead and grant that. And here's some instructions, but it's basically what I've covered. You need to make sure you have a SIM card in there and that it's set up and registered. You need to turn off Wi-Fi, make sure mobile data is turned on. Make sure that you can connect to mobile data as well. We're going to tap this Add Account button below. And then we need to log in and associate our Xiaomi Mi account with, within this section of the settings. And then we can go ahead and download the unlock tool on our PC from this link, which I'll be including in the video description, so that we can continue with this bootloader unlock process because we begin the request by associating our account here. Then we need to turn our attention to the PC and use this program while our phone is connected. You should see a added successfully pop-up box that appears at the bottom. As soon as you tap that add account and device, you'll get a pop-up notice that says the request has been added or the request has been sent. And then just as you saw, another pop-up will appear saying that at least it should, saying that your account is now associated with that. Once we got that uh, success message, we need to boot the POCO M3 into fast boot mode so that whenever we connect it to our PC, the Me Unlock tool recognizes the phone. So we're going to boot into fast boot mode by powering off the phone. You can also issue an ADB command to reboot into fastboot mode. We're just gonna wait till the device is powered off and then we're gonna press and hold the power and volume down buttons at the same time. We're gonna continue holding those two buttons down until you see this little uh, Xiaomi Mi figure appear with the Android in front of it. This is the Poco M3's fast boot mode. And from here, we can plug the device into our PC and use the Mi Unlock tool to finish this request. Here we have the extracted contents of the Mi Flash download that I told you about. I'll be linking to this. You're going to download this zip file and when you extract the contents of this zip file it's going to result in these folders and these files being created in that folder. We need to look for that me flash unlock program. Go ahead and open it up. We'll get a disclaimer right here. We're just going to go ahead and click on agree. And then we need to log in to our Xiaomi Mi account. The same Xiaomi Mi account that we logged into on the Poco M3 earlier in the video. So to send in the bootloader unlock request before we can wait 15 days for the actual unlock to happen, you can see we are logged into our account on the Me Unlock program. 
Just like I said, the program tells us to boot into, it's saying bootloader, but it's actually fast boot mode that we're booting into. People will interchange those names. Since we've already booted into fast boot mode, we simply need to plug in the USB cable into our phone. Once that's done, as assuming you have USB drivers already installed for Xiaomi devices, and the PC recognizes your POCO M3, which it should automatically, you'll be sent to your you'll be shown this that it recognizes the Mi Phone, and that unlocking will erase user data. So we're going to click on the unlock button right here. And we're going to be giving a number of these pop-ups to confirm. So just click on unlock anyway. Then we wait again. And we click unlock anyway. Now it's going to do this count up process. But again, we're not going to be able to unlock the device right now. This will error out. So I just want to note that if you're, if you're Xiaomi Mi Unlock program displays a parameter error like you just saw, I would request you try the unlock again button. Make sure that the device is in fast boot mode. The Poco M3, make sure the phone is in fast boot mode and it's connected to the PC with USB cable. Um, when I got that error, what I did was I restarted the phone and I immediately started the phone back in fast boot mode. It did not boot into Android. And from there, I just made sure that the device was plugged in. I clicked unlock again. And this time, instead of that parameter error, we got the 168 hours countdown. This is what we want to look for, the 168 hours. Also, be sure to read this. Do not add your account in MIUI again. If you do, you will reset this 168 hour timer. This is very important. I've had many comments of people resetting their timer accidentally because they did not read this part right here. So there we have it from here. I can press and hold the power button on the POCO M3 to force the device to reboot. Now if we try this Mi Unlock process all over again, it should actually give us updated time. So if I waited 24 hours and then I tried this all over again, the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool should uh, say that we only have 144 day, or 144 hours left because 24 hours has passed. What I normally just do is I set a timer in Google Assistant to remind me when 15 days has passed. And then on that 16th day, I go and I uh, complete the bootloader unlock process. Because again, you're going to need to power down the phone. You're going to need to boot it into fast boot mode and you're going to need to open Xiaomi Mi Unlock Tool and go through this whole process again to unlock the device, except on that second attempt, after we have waited 168 uh, hours, again, we'll have multiple green check marks to indicate the device is now unlocked. And that completes the initial request for how to efficiently unlock the Poco M3 bootloader.